Welcome to the commencement exercises at Chapman University.
Dean Angaro, I am honored to announce that the members of the graduating class, the faculty and staff of Chapman University, and representation from the Board of Trustees and administration are now present. All are gathered here for the commencement of the College of Performing Arts at Chapman University. Thank you, Professor and Chair Julianne O'Brien Peterson. Welcome to you all. Please stand to face the flag as we listen to our national anthem sung by our vocal performance major and minors, and remain standing for the invocation that will be offered by Reverend Nancy Brink, Executive Director of the Fish Interfaith Center. Let us join our hearts and minds. Giver of summer graces, we gather to give thanks for this journey completed. You are the giver of dance, the body's song of gratitude. You are the giver of theater, the story of life yearning to be told. You are the giver of music, the vibration of wonder and celebration. We ask your blessing on these graduates who have thrilled us with their exceptional talents these last four years. Empower them to use the gifts you have given them that they may continue to refine them, to bring joy, insight, and beauty to this world. And most of all, we want them to be fabulous. You may be seated. First of all, thank you to Reverend Brink, and can I have a round of applause for our wonderful student performers? <clears throat> I want to welcome you again to the 2024 College of Performing Arts commencement ceremony. In a few minutes, you will hear a formal address to the graduating class, 
But in the meantime, I want to make sure we recognize some outstanding students. Sometimes we can't print in the program everything we want to include. So let me make sure you know who are the students who received the highest departmental honors for 2024. Honorees, if you're present, please stand when I call your name and remain standing. The Donna Cucunato Award in Dance, Ashton Titus and Kevin Ivins. The Conservatory of Music Award, Jessica Tanai. And the Henry Camp Blair Award in Theater to Adrienne Bryce. Well done. Thank you. And now for the formal address to the graduating class. We look everywhere for a speaker who could rise to the challenge and whose accomplishments could match the quality of our graduates, of our faculty, and of our staff. Finally, after much consideration, I decided to give the job to someone I know extremely well, who has been a constant presence in my life, who is always on the same page as I am, who knows COPA better than most even though I'm not sure he can rise to the challenge or match the accomplishments of our graduates. He has spent a life in academia, and his scholarly work has been read by tens, maybe dozens, of other academics, which is understandable given his propensity to write such page turners as 16th century literary debates, the audience's view, and the interpretation of Popea, and Venetian printed anthologies of music and their editors, I'm sure many of you have read them and have been enlightened by his writings on these timely topics. He has also shared his knowledge for decades with the captive audiences in his classes. Many of, the, many of his former students are surprisingly still speaking to him. I'm speaking, of course, of the interim executive director of the Musco Center for the Arts, my good friend, Giulio Angelo. <laughs> yes. I've taken advantage of my prerogative as retiring dean to be the one who will give the formal address to you. But don't worry and breathe easy. I will definitely stay away from the topics related to my research. Will not give you a long lecture on the intricacies of Renaissance polyphony. Although there's so much I could say to you. <laughs> but we have a time limit, so. All joking aside, it is a great privilege to be addressing this graduating class, and I'm happy that you and I get to leave Chapman together. You are a class that was not able to have a graduation ceremony at the end of your high school career in 2020, and I'm so glad we can, we can do this for you and give you a proper send-off and congratulate you on your many achievements. I follow your time at Chapman closely, and I know what you have accomplished here. I suppose that I should use my experience to give you words of wisdom, and it's so easy to fall into platitudes here. All I can do is to talk about my journey and what I think has made a difference and why I think you should think about some of the things I'm going to say. Be warned, as they say in car ads, your mileage may vary. So here's my set of platitudes. First of all, you are here because you share my passion for the performing arts. I started college at good old Università degli Studi di Venezia, or Ca Foscari, as is usually known, studying economics and business, even though I had been, been a musician for a while. But in the back of my mind, there was something that pushed me towards music. And when I had the chance to transfer to the University of Iowa and study music, I jumped at that. First good choice, to follow your instinct and know that if something really pushes you in a certain direction, you should listen because you don't want to have regrets later in life. Yes, the performing arts are tough and challenging, but they're also amazingly rewarding and beautiful. You, with your performances, nourish the soul of everyone around you, of your audiences, and there are very few professions where you get to do that. Second good choice, be curious about everything around you. Read, learn all your life. Don't ever think that getting into a topic in depth is a waste of time. I can point to a couple of things that for a while I thought would be utterly useless in my life. The study of the classics, which in Italian, the Italian system included eight years of Latin language and literature. Definitely not my favorite topic in high school. I wanted to play rock music, so that wasn't. And the study of business. 
Well, the first meant that when I went to grad school, I could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my professors on the fine points of medieval and Renaissance music treatises written in Latin. Might seem like a little thing, but actually it was huge. <laughs> it greatly impressed them. The second has made me a much better administrator because I took accounting and other business classes. Oh, and I learned English at 21 for no particular reason, except that my girlfriend at the time was fluent, and I, wanted, I thought it was cool, and I wanted to speak English like her. She was Italian, and was way before I thought about coming to the States. So there was no idea that, no giant plan to come here. In Italian, we say, impara l'arte e mettila da parte. Learn the skill and store it away because you'll never know when you will be useful. Think of it as your personal library, some books you read more often, some you leave alone for long periods of time, but they're there when you need them. And sorry about the outdated reference to libraries, but I still like them. So be curious and learn. Third, do not ever forget your family and friends. Prioritize the people around you who really care about you. Anything can happen in your life, but your family and your true friends will be there for you. I'm way too Italian to sacrifice my family and friends to my job. As an example, I moved to Chapel Hill to start graduate school two days after Cheryl and I got married. We got married on Saturday, loaded the U-Haul on Sunday, drove down to Chapel Hill, and never been to Chapel Hill on, uh, from Iowa on Monday. And Cheryl is sitting right there. She knows I'm, I'm telling the truth. I manage, um, and Many people warned me that graduate school and a PhD would be difficult to manage with a wife. And I told them truthfully that my family was my first priority and that I was ready to change plans if graduate school was going to mess with my marriage. I managed to get my PhD and my wife and I are about to celebrate 45 years of marriage. So it worked. Is it going to be easy to balance work and life? No, nothing good is easy. Work at it, be aware, and remember also that none of those relationships are one way. Give with love and unselfishly, and you will get back more than you put in. Fourth, believe in yourself. Yes, there are times when you will be down, especially in the performing arts. Rejection is part of the, of the job. But believe in what you want to do and be creative. You have found ways to thrive through the pandemic, and I don't believe that the first difficulties you encounter will stop you. Look for your friends and family to support you. Don't tackle all challenges alone. Don't have a big ego, which is different than believing in yourself. But believe that you have something to say that is important and that it is worth spending time and effort to reach others. Finally, be a good person. Understand what that means and do what you need to do to be good. Good not in a Pollyanna sense, I'm not promising a life of unicorns in your front yard and sunny skies every single day. In California, it's 90% of the time, but not 100%. Sometimes it is tough to try and be good, but to me, it is exemplified by a game that the nuns at the Catholic grade school where I studied made us play. At Christmas, they would set up a nativity scene in the classroom, and each one of us had to bring a little sheep figurine. Then they place those on a path to the manger. If you behave on any given day, the sheep will go forward. If you did something objectionable, the sheep will go backward and be farther from the manger. To me, it's a metaphor. Regardless of your religious beliefs or lack thereof, every good action brings you closer to an ideal of goodness. Actually getting all the way there is difficult. I would say impossible, and in grade school, I was way too talkative, I, I was a smart ass, um, to ever make it to the manger. I never made it to the manger in five years of grade school. In fact, I was usually among the last. But you need to try, have empathy, understand others, respect everyone, take a deep breath instead of doing or something stupid that you will regret. Behave in a way that makes it possible for you to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning without cringing. Ulti ultimately, that is more important than just about anything else. Oh, one last thing. Learn to manage your money. I reject the old legend that performing artists must be naive about handling financial decisions. I will tell you that the great composer Giuseppe Verdi, just to give you an example, 
was a shrewd businessman, and by the way, so were Beethoven, Haydn, and Handel. Very interested in modern farming, of all things, and also in the business side of music, as we know from his letters. The result is that he left enough money to direct the city of Milano to set up a rest home for opera singers, the Casa Verdi, which is still in operation. So if you're a tired opera singer in Italy, you can go to the Casa Verdi in Milano, and it's all paid by the money that Giuseppe Verdi left. So learn as much as you can about financial and business transaction. In conclusion, I want to thank, first of all, our wonderful faculty and staff. They are great colleagues and great mentors, and they care about you. So thank you. I want to thank your parents and your families for trusting that Chapman will be the place for you and for supporting you from the time you started being in the arts to today. So thank you, parents and families. And most of all, I want to thank you. I've had the great privilege of being your dean, of watching you grow in your artistry and demonstrating it for everyone to see, of being able to talk to you and find out what made you tick, of helping whenever I could do something for you. Graduates of the College of Performing Arts, I salute you and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm supposed to go back to my seat and then the dean takes the lectern, but you know, I'm here already. Now, it's my privilege to introduce the provost and chief academic officer of Chapman University, Dr. Norma Bouchard. Thank you, Dean Ongaro, or rather the Dean's Ongaros, right? We got at least two here. I'm simply thrilled to confer on these distinguished graduates the Chapman degrees they work so hard to earn. In the more than uh, 160 year history of Chapman University, perhaps no class has ever been better prepared to meet the challenges and opportunities before them. Many of you have received distinguished honors. Others are the first in your family to earn a university degree. <laughs> All have had success through incredibly challenging times, including many, or perhaps most of you, not even having an in-person high school graduation. I congratulate each of you as I do everyone who supported you along the way. I look forward to witnessing your future success as your spirit of curiosity and desire to make an impact drive your achievements in your communities around and across the globe. No matter where you go, you can take all that you've experienced and learned from with you. Of course, we hope that uh, you will return often to reconnect with us as cherished members of the Chapman family. Know that you're always welcome here. And now we shall proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees. Each candidate has been approved by the faculty and the board of trustees to receive the degree indicated in the program and on their diploma, subject, of course, to the completion of all requirements. And now, will the candidates from the College of Performing Arts please step forward? What does it mean to be a Chapman graduate? You are now part of a global community that is over 50,000 members strong. Chapman alumni are industry leaders, innovators, and world changers who rise to new challenges and opportunities to make an impact. Our alumni are ethical global citizens who are committed to serving the greater good, who look out for fellow alumni, cheer each other on, and when opportunities come along, always think Chapman first. As part of the Chapman alumni community, you'll stay in touch with the people who matter to you, like your former classmates and the faculty who guided your education. And you'll also expand your horizons through the Panther Network as you connect with fellow alumni across the globe. It's much more than a network. These are powerful connections that last a lifetime. Together, you play a vital role at Chapman, both on and off campus. 
From volunteerism and mentorship to attending events and recruiting future Panthers, alumni are the ambassadors of the Chapman experience who inspire each other and the next generation of the Chapman family. Wherever you go, wherever life leads you, you can count on the support of your Chapman alumni community because once a Panther, always a Panther. From the Department of Dance, Chloe Ann Baxhall. <laughs> Isabel Grace Nelson. Skylar Page Draper. Hugo Alberto Menendez III. Mia Bella McGarity. Melanie Lorraine Nyland. Alyssa Jordan Salvador. L. Alexandra Holland. Delaney Robinson Dyer. Macy Alexandra Deppi. Emerson Liam Donahue. Kevin Daniel Ivans. Ashton Leska Titus. Kaylee Nicole Sato Fono. Valentina Victoria Marcano. Remington Christensen. Sofia Elizabeth Barrientos Valdez. Casey Marie Latin. Marissa Elise Rivera Jabot. Zoe Imler. Ava Grace Vermillion. Lindsay Nicole Salkeld. Ryan Francis Christensen. Kurt Ryan Horney. Lior Oshri. Haley Kekau. Sarah Victoria Chandler.
Maya Riley Palmer. Isabel Grace Hausner. From the Hall Musco Conservatory of Music, Michaela Josephine Marie Flocken. <laughs> Hannah Rose Yukiko Prince. Janine Teresa Lutfi. Julia Sapetta. Jennifer Ann Matino. Emma Elizabeth Brandel. Simon Davis Gerlock. Nathan Noel Akupan. Crimson Bray. Jessica Kimiko Tonai. Tatum Blythe Gonzalez. Ethan Ariel Eliophon. Madison Elizabeth Weiss. <laughs> Isabella Grace Delatore. <laughs> Noel Marie Salcido. Peyton Renee McGinnis. Adrian Marcelo Fernandez. Evan Russell Raymond. Darius Wesley Merchant. Alana Joanne McKinnon. Anne Marie Dana Okuhara. Jillian Oaken. Julian Paul Berger. Matthew Alexander Kaminsky. Ryan Sajin Liu. Divya Manikam.
Lauren May Blue. Zachariah William DeChance. From the Department of Theater. Riley Tanner Russell. Ann Nupper. Alicia Maya Alexander. Jose Luis Briseño. Rong Shang. Rhea Chuggan. Arya Selva Kumar. Sophie Little. Ariel Bradshaw. Jessica James Lewis. Meridian, Anastasia Paris Harrop. Lucy Collette Ashley Swinson. Cassidy Irene Stillwell. Isabella Ayers Kaplan. Cameron Elizabeth Jackson. Sydney Hannah Feldman. Travis Parker Dean. Samuel William Trot. Kevin Joseph Wong. Jerry Yihong Zo. <laughs> Margaret Isabel Edwards. <laughs> Maya Nasira Valiente Thompson. Adrian Elizabeth Corday Rice. Nicole Loika Wong. Jordan Valverde. Pedro Enrique Diaz de Nobrega. Amir Jeremiah McGee. At Chapman, 
we know that inspiration can come from everywhere. It comes from the countless professors you meet whose teaching and research transcend disciplinary boundaries and push the limits of knowledge and innovation. It comes from exceptional students who are national champions, model UN finalists, film festival winners, advocates, artists, scientists, creators, and classmates who expand your thinking as you introduce new ideas to theirs. It comes from a breathtaking performance, working through a group project, that one-on-one -on -one time with a professor who took the time to help you get it. It comes from meeting people with entirely different experiences and perspectives, and forging connections that challenge how you see the world. It comes from your history, your family, your community, your curiosity, and your dreams. At Chapman, inspiration thrives in a campus community that pulses with indescribable energy and an intellectual, creative, and social vibrance, a community that embraces you in a feeling of belonging while giving you the inspiration you need to do more. An academic community that brings a personalized approach to learning, focused on pushing your limits while surrounding you with the support you need to take risks, knowing that if you fall, we've got you. All while connecting you to a worldwide network of Chapman family members eager to welcome you in so you can shatter conventions and rise to the challenges of a changing world. We call it the Chapman Experience. And in that experience, you'll find what drives you forward. Because here, you'll be immersed in the joy that comes with discovery and the thrill of your curiosity driving your experience. Here you'll be challenged not to repeat what's known, but to define what can be. For the world, for your community, for yourself. Driven by curiosity. Inspired by Chapman. Students, friends, and family, <laughs> while the graduates are returning to their seats, but I think you're already in your seats, will you please join me in acknowledging the talent and dedication of our world-class faculty? Thank you, faculty. Upon the conclusion of the ceremony, we ask that all graduates, faculty, family, and friends make their way immediately out of Wilson Field to the Linguist Esplanade outside of the Waltmar Theater by the big tree. And for the families, you go out that, door, that gate over there and you keep going until you hit a gigantic tree. You can't miss it. Don't go or wander around. Um, it will be an opportunity for our faculty to say farewell to their students. Just keep walking straight. And until under the Wilson throne, that's that thing over there, until you see the big tree. And you'll see also a setup for a reception. Now, I invite all graduates to turn and show their appreciation to the people who have helped make this moment possible. Congratulations, graduates. This concludes the commencement exercise at Chapman University. Please remain in your seats until the Grand Marshal, platform party, faculty, and students have exited the field. Thank you.